What is the deal with this riddle and why are so many people getting it wrong? I bought a cow for $800, I sold it for $1,000, I bought it again for $1,100, I sold it again for $1,300. How much did I earn? Well, this one has been wreaking havoc in the comments section with some people getting $400, some people getting $300 and everyone getting moody with each other. So first we'll work out the right answer, then we'll see where people might be going wrong. Let's say we start at $0, so imagine that we're using a fresh credit card. When we buy the cow for $800, we're technically down $800. Sure, we're up a cow but if we just follow the money, we've spent $800, so we owe $800 on our credit card bill. Then when we sell it for $1,000, we'll be up $200. We paid off that $800 debt with $200 to spare. That's our profit so far. But we missed the cow, we want it back. Bad news, it's $1,100 now. Well, we've got our balance of $200, but we need another $900. We're going to have to put it on the credit card again, so now we're down $900. But hey, in this surprisingly healthy cow market, we're able to find a buyer willing to pay $1,300. That clears our $900 debt and leaves us with a sweet $400 for our troubles. Provided we can resist the temptation of any more rash cow purchases, we'll walk away with a total earnings of $400. Now, even if credit cards aren't your thing, you could start with any bank balance, go through the same transactions, and you'll find your closing balance is $400 more than your opening balance. Another way of looking at it is the same way as we might do our own bookkeeping. We could add up all of our income, then add up all of our expenses. The difference will be our profit, or hopefully not, our loss. Let's start with our income. The first time we sold the cow for 1000 The second time we sold it for 1300 That's a hefty sum. In total we made 2300 Moving on to the expenses, the first time we bought the cow it cost us 800 the second time it cost us 1100 In total we spent 1900 So our profit was 400 Income minus expenses equals, in this case, profit. So why are some people getting 300 Possibly because they're counting two of the transactions twice. I think the error comes in spotting a 200 profit here and then a 100 loss here and finally a 200 profit here, which is how they might land on an overall profit of 300. But the problem with this is that the middle two transactions are being counted twice. We can't count this $1,000 sale with the first purchase and the second purchase. It's either or. Now it's perfectly valid to think of the transactions in pairs, each pair containing one purchase and one sale. The first pair gives us a profit of 200, the second pair also gives us a profit of 200, total profit 400. But if we want to think of this middle pair as giving us a loss of 100, then the other two transactions make our other pair, giving us a profit of 500, so our overall profit is still 400. It doesn't matter how many times we buy and sell the poor cow, each transaction can only count once.